Okay, thank you, Mir Shazid. You can share your feelings about the topic. Uh, thank you very much to give me the opportunity to tell something about today's uh, topic. And today's topic is about the importance of ICT in education. Now I'm going to describe about it. Uh, ICT means information communication technology. Uh, it's an essential part in, uh, in this digital age. ICT refers to the use of technology access process and share information. Here are some of the ways ICT uh, and one of these access of the information. Uh, with ICT, students have the access to vast amounts of information and various sources, including the internet, online libraries, ebooks, and digital textbooks. Uh, this, enable, this enables them to learn beyond the conference of their physical classroom and to explore and discover new knowledge of their own. And ICT also enables enables teachers to create more interactive and engaging learning experience for the students. For instance, teachers can use multimedia uh, simulation to explain complex, uh, complex topics that students can't, can under, understand very clearly. And ICT also enables students to collaborative learning. Uh, ICT enables students to collaborate with their peers and group projects and to do their assignments and also others. And ICT, by the, and the use of ICT, students can learn many topics that they can't understand very easily. And for instance, they can use learning analytics to track each student's process and provide feedback and provide feedback that is tailored as their specific words. And ICT also enables our students to preparation for the future because uh, you know that this world is totally based on ICT. Uh, to, to survive in the 21st century, you need to learn skill. Uh, you don't need to, uh, the importance of certificate uh, because it has, it has no below. It's total below is with your skill. So you need to be more skilled at various topics such as English, English speaking, uh, computer writing, and, and many others, video editing, coding, and many other subjects and many other uh, skills you will you need to learn. So in, in conclusion, I wanna say that ICT is totally based on art. So we should, uh, we should use, you should use it properly to, uh, to make our better future and hope I, and we hope that uh, we'll, find, we'll find our best future in, in a world. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you, Mir Shazid. You have nicely explained about this matter to this topic, the importance of ICT in education. You are living in 21st century. You are living in internet and technology age and era. So you can do without it. So I hope that every student must learn about ICT and using ICT, that's in practical skill. In our syllabus, that's in grade nine and 10, uh, some topics are also included in your syllabus, but most of the students, they're skipping about this matter. They don't try to learn practical skills. As a result, they will have to face a lot of problems coming future, okay. Now, Colin, you can share your views. Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity. So. Hello everybody, it's me, Muxadat Tahi Polan. I'm a student of grade seven in Gafagao Islamia Government of High School. And I live in a town called Gafagao. So today my topic is about uh, the importance of ICT or the uses of ICT in education. Well, before the topic, we need to know about some sufficient things and uh, sufficient things, and that is skills, ICT. Well, what is skill? Skill may be a thing or a ability that you have in a sufficient thing. And it will it will enable you to do better in the that subject that you are better than others. And now, what's ICT? The term ICT stands for stands for Information and Communication Technology. Well, information might be a video, might be a photo, might be a line about something. You can get information about many things. And what is communication technology? Communication technology means the technology that's used in communicating people. Well, now the importance 
benefits of ICT in education. ICT is one of the greatest tool in the 21st century. ICT is used in teaching, learning, and mobilizing students. ICT helps students to know about their stuff and know about their position in the schools, uh, schools, libraries, homes, and in many cases. Well, now let's go to the topic. ICT enables a student to be skillful because ICT has no bounds. ICT will address you to the globe and make uh, uh, and enable you to speak with the whole world. It will make you more knowledgeable and more better than others. Well, now the benefits of ICT in education. Firstly, the benefit of ICT is e-learning. What's e-learning? E-learning means how to learn online. When you actually learn online, uh, oh sorry, what, uh, the, what does mean learning online? Learning online means you are learning by using an information technology and using a technology in your home or in a virtual classroom. Well, um, we can get a good thing, we can get the good knowledge about learning online in the pandemic time. When in the pandemic time, all the schools were closed and we learned online by our teachers. Now, second thing, ICT brings the inner knowledge of students. Well, nowadays, ICT students are more famous in using the classrooms. Teachers teach their topic on ICT by using, uh, by, in the classroom by using the ICT instruments. This helps them to teach the students very easily and uh, very easily and more knowledgeably. And ICT also helps in promoting the students' knowledge. Uh, so knowledge, uh, high, uh, sorry, knowledge. Because when a student has some latent talent in himself, he can, he, but he doesn't has uh, doesn't have any way to uh, uh, sorry, express that in the express among the people. So it's a duty of a student. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's a duty of a teacher to nourish that knowledge and nourish that knowledge and talents among the people. So when he uses the ICT, uh, ICT uh, teacher can know the uh, know the students firmly and more minimally. It it will just uh, for hold the students' knowledge to others, and he can just nourish his knowledge. And ICT develops skills. It is the most uh, most famous things of ICT because when you are just using an ICT instrument, this will help you to know about a thing very easily. And ICT is, uh, firstly, I said ICT is very broad. It folds many topics together. And it, like you are using Google, yes, it's ICT. You are using mobile phone, it's ICT. And in this mobile phone, you have many users. You can use this in good work. You can use this in your enjoyment. But for, for me, uh, you, if you want to use ICT, you need an educational heart over the internet. You have to choose your passion over, over knowledge and you have to use it rightly. But some, uh, but some kind of uh, people don't use that light, uh, don't use it rightly for their betterment. So that's the mistake. So uh, my suggestion is to use, use the ICT in your education, in gathering knowledge, in broadening your out, outlook. That's all, thank you. Thank you very much, Colin. You have excellently described about this topic and uh, let an example. That's mean we are connected at this moment using ICT. That's mean its name is Joe. Okay. And uh, every student, and including me, uh, we are connected from different places. Okay. But uh, at this moment, we are connected. We are very close each other because our picture are set up very close. And we have seen, okay, it's very amazing. And since 2020, after pandemic COVID-19, I have been running this language club. And uh, I have also connected uh, more than 100 teachers from 61 countries. How is it possible? Only for using ICT. That's in technology, okay? And it's very miracle. You know English, but if you don't know uh, using ICT, it's not be fruitful, but you know, using ICT, but you don't know English, you cannot communicate and you cannot connect, okay? Uh, you should know both. If you know English and ICT, you will be connected, you will be communicated entire world. It's very amazing, okay? And I'm very happy to have you and uh, every students uh, are giving their opinions very excellently, okay? Now I'm going to request to say something on the topic, uh, Tauhid. Thank you, sir, for giving me an opportunity 
please allow me to introduce myself first. This is Am before you, Muhammad Tauhid bin Sudik, a student of 10th grade of Gafaga Islamia Government High School. Uh, today's selected topic is important of importance of ICT in education. We know now ICT has changed our life, and if we want to find a sector where we are not using ICT, it will be so much difficult because now we are using ICT everywhere. And on the other hand, if we start to tell the name of the sectors where we are using ICT, it will also be difficult to finish. And in one time, we may uh, remember, we may be, we may remind all the, or we may can explain or tell all the names of the sectors. So we can imagine or we can, um, uh, we can understand comparing this uh, sentence that how much ICT have uh, affected in our life. And ICT is so much important uh, in important sectors. Now in this world, in 21st century, people don't think that um, money and other natural resources, these are not the uh, our main asset. Now people think that not people, all people all over the world, not any general people or any separate part of the world, all whole, the whole world have understood and the whole world think that our knowledge and our information, then that means a person and every person and all persons are the asset for their own countries. So, Education is so much important for making a person an estate. Yeah, I know. Without education, one can be an estate in playing games or uh, being a, a businessman or being a singer or other, other type of profession. But yeah, education is so much important for building up a nation. That's why the effect, uh, effect, uh, effects of ICT in education is also so much important. Uh, we can remember the importance of ICT in all countries, not in developed countries, developing countries, and as well as poor countries uh, in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. That time, the whole world was locked down, in lockdown, uh, like poor country, developing country, developed country, all. So that time, uh, who are the which are the devil? Which are the developing country? They also had to use ICT in education uh, much because, because, uh, because of COVID-19, the uh, in educational institutions were off. That's why they had to use that. Them, yeah, they had to continue the studies in Zoom or other type of uh, video calling apps. That means online. So ICT is so much important continuing our education in any situation. On the, besides it, Suppose there is now there is no COVID-19, but we can use ICT uh, for no for getting a book uh, uh, for getting a book any from any part of the world. We can carry 10 or 15 books hardly uh, with uh, with us in our bag. But using ICT, that means if we use ebook, we can use more than five ten or uh, fifteen thousand books. Uh, in a short device, just mean ebook, and we can read them easily online or offline by downloading or not downloading. So ICT is really so much important for helping us reading or carrying books or any type of information or knowledge everywhere, anytime, anywhere, everywhere, not only carrying but also getting. And besides this, suppose in our class we can. Um, uh, uh, study. Teacher can teach us anything from our textbook, but if we want to uh, see something, suppose um, theory about uh, uh, space, that time if the teacher can make a graphical video and he can, he or she can show that to their students. The students will understand it properly, be interacted. Uh, attracted with the video and it's really so much interactive. What's interactive? Interactive means uh, the interaction between two or two things. 
interaction is um, the good understanding between two things. So when one student is interactive to anything, he will understand it properly and for a long time. So ICT is not helpful for our only uh, for continuous education, not only continuous education, but also being it attractive and interactive. So yeah, I know only using ICT we can study. ICT is not uh, not ICT can never take the place of our previous way or previous method of study, but ICT can make it more attractive, interactive, and uh, more uh, more develop uh, to being the to get to um, to for making the uh, students develop because using ICT we can also get new information besides our textbook. Sometimes we can uh, find any information in our textbook or in our notebook also. That we can also use ICT. I know I haven't explained all the at least all the uses of ICT at least in educational sector, but there are also other sectors which I have told before starting our main speech. So we can understand and we can imagine comparing my these sentences, how important ICT is in our education and how can I see how is ICT helping us at least in education. So really I at last want to say that if we be more if we want to be more productive, if we want to be more developed or improved and skilled uh, in our daily life as a um, um, person of 21st century, we should use ICT properly. So at least using ICT properly, we can also be more developed, more improved than others in this 21st century, in this modern world, in this modern era. That's why at least I want to say that uh, use ICT and gain knowledge, use knowledge, spread knowledge. Thank you so much for having me cordially and with much patience, all of Excellent and brilliantly you have delivered your speech. Amazing, outstanding. Okay. Uh, sir, please because, uh, give me an opportunity. Thank you, sir. Okay, and uh, because uh, we are connected using uh, technology, okay? And we should be skilled, ICT and technological skills, okay? Now, Faisal, you can share your opinion. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first, take me, salam, assalamu alaikum. Uh, how are you all? Hope you are fit and fine. Uh, this is Faisal Al Mahmoud uh, in front of you. I'm a student of Gate Nine. The name of my school is Gafur Gun Islamia Government High School. I'm now uh, going to talk about, uh, talk about uh, uh, importance of ICT in education. ICT means uh, information and communication technology. Uh, it has a great role uh, uh, in what uh, since we are now uh, in in the information era. Technology uh, has a, a great role when it comes uh, to education, uh, especially after uh, the outbreak of COVID-19, uh, uh, the latest uh, uh, technology has uh, enabled students and teachers uh, connected to, to stay connected to e-classroom. Today, the use of, uh, uh, the, today, the use of uh, 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 technology, uh, uh, not only uh, computer labs, but also direct access to e-classroom. Smart classroom also attraction to uh, uh, students. Uh, it enables students to learn new things, uh, uh, fun uh, and interesting way. The introduction uh, of, of uh, e-books, uh, it becomes too easier to students, uh, uh, students to, to uh, Access to numerous books over the internet with a dust click. No more today. That's all for the time being. Thanks for uh, listening uh, patiently. I love it. Okay, thank you very much, um, you know, Faisal Ahmed. And you have uh, astonishingly uh, delivered your speech. Okay, and uh, you are you know, really, everyone is doing really very well. Okay, now I'm going to uh, request to uh, deliver. Uh, his piece, uh, Shabab Noor. Okay, Noor, continue. Only five minutes remain. Okay, continue. Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone. Um, hey, Huda Noor, Assist Examiner of Gafur Gaur Stingamer High School this year. Now, I'm going to share my views about uh, the importance of ICT in education and learning English. As we all know, we, we are now living in the industrial era 
It's the forced industrialization which has already taken effect. And the main driving force of this industrialization is ICT. The information is power. We have read about South Korea in our textbooks. And the more information one has, the more powerful and the more dominant one can be. So through just reading textbooks, it's impossible for us to be confident in the future and brace for ourselves for the confident market. But through this ICT, we can gather information a lot easier, faster, and that can help us make us make ourselves much more dominant and competitive. So the first invention like huge advancement, advanced advances to the development of civilization. Then through the years, sending letters through horse rides or railways were invented. And then in the 19th or 18th century, the development of ICT through computers that has really rocketed our development civilization. And currently in the 21st century, our knowledge information is power, that notion is driven by ICT that everyone has access to. So everyone has the opportunity to develop themselves through using the internet, smartphones, computers, devices of ICT. And the, through the proper use of them, they can be competent students in the future. As students, we have a lot to have in the sector. It would be astonishing to know that many renowned universities of the world, such as Harvard and other universities, like Oxford, their courses and lessons on the internet for free. We can, I have found English courses and courses for uh, coding and programming just for free and using ICT and internet. So if we use internet, we all have smartphones in our homes. Through using it, we can access those analysis, learn ourselves and make us more skillful and confident. And, and it's really important to us because during the COVID-19 pandemic, we, everything was locked down and just through using ICT, we were able to continue our studies. And this online English language club is an example itself. As uh, gathered us around and we joined through using Zoom at our homes we stayed, but we have connected with teachers from all around the world. That was possible through using ICT. And now we have gained the confidence to speak in English and we wouldn't have been so if what it wasn't for this platform. So ICD helps us. We just gotta find it, try and keep trying to be more competent citizens in the future through using ICD. Thank you very much. Excellent and wonderful speech from Noor. And uh, everyone has described on the topics very brilliantly, very brilliant and amazingly. And uh, today you have proved yourself, every student, already has been proved you are the best. And you are doing very, uh, very great. And you are re really, you are doing a very great. And uh, that's been astonishingly, you have proved. And uh, I hope that tomorrow, that's been tomorrow means uh, coming future, you will be established yourself that not only ICT, but also as a good English speaker, okay. And at this moment, a teacher from Moki Polishevak High School, Chanmia, already connected with us. Okay, sir, if you uh, if you want to say something, okay, please, uh, please say something on the topic and my students' performance. Okay, and time is very short, and we'll reconnect. I cannot, uh, I cannot connect with you the uh, first time, so I cannot know which topic today. Okay, but uh, yes, yes, I, now I'm going to inform you today's topic: importance of ICT in education. What is the role of uh, role of ICT in education? My students are trying to uh, describe, and they have already described amazingly what I have expected from them. Okay, please. Thank you very much to give the chance to connect with you. And I think ICT is the most part of in this world. Globalization is not possible without ICT. So ICT is the base from today, and. The software of English is very important to connect it each other. So ICT and English are reciprocal. They are to develop, to communicate, to understanding the global citizen each other. This is the most important part for the world. So when you use ICT, you can easily communicate each other. You can create a new idea. You can create a new business all over the world. 
So your time is short, so I don't disturb you. Uh, yes, time, yes, yes. please. Uh, okay, please, uh, we'll reconnect again. Okay, I'm going to uh, provide. Okay, now I'm going to end the session. Now, after two minutes, we'll reconnect again.